Let's calibrate Hex Gaming Hall Effect joysticks. First connect one end of the ribbon to the controller drip fix module. And connect the other end to the adjustment tool. Use a data cable and connect the controller to a PC. And open the gamepad tester site and track the current data of your controller joysticks when calibrating. Part 1. Calibrate the joystick to return to the center. First hold and press the C1 button until the LED turns on. Then refer to the data and move the left joystick to the left multiple times until the axis zero value reaches 0 0.00392, which is the center. Then hold the button for 3 seconds until the LED turns off to save the left joystick center calibration. Part 2. Calibrate the circular input area of the left joystick. Hold the C2 button for 3 seconds until the LED turns on. Slowly rotate the left joystick counterclockwise multiple times. Then press the C2 button. Next adjust the joystick input. Slowly move the joystick separately in the upward, leftward, downward, and rightward directions. Press the C2 button each time when the axis value falls within the correct range between 0.92 and 0. Then hold and press the C2 button until the LED turns off to save and exit. Test the joystick's circular input area in the gamepad tester to check if the calibration works. Part 3. Calibrate joystick circularity to the correct axis value. Press and hold the C1 and C2 buttons until the LED slowly blinks to enter the calibration. First slowly push the joystick upward to its full and press the C2 button once. Then push the joystick to the rightward multiple times until the axis 1 value reaches minus 1. Then press the C2 button to save the calibration. Next slowly push the joystick leftward to its full, and then press the C2 button once. Then push the joystick to the upward multiple times until the axis 0 value reaches minus 1. Then press the C2 button to save the calibration. Slowly push the joystick downward to its full, and then press the C2 button once. Then push the joystick to the rightward multiple times until the axis 1 value reaches 1. Then press the C2 button to save the calibration. Slowly push the joystick rightward to its full, and then press the C2 button once. Then push the joystick to the upward multiple times until the axis 0 value reaches 1. Then press the C2 button to save the calibrate. Hold and press both C1 and C2 buttons until LED turns off to save the circularity axis value caliber. After saving the calibration, we can double-check the input data. If the axis value is not correct, re-enter the calibration mode and redo again. For example, recalibrate the axis 0 value to 1, and then exit the calibration. We can see now the axis 0 value is correct. Again, the axis zero value in right direction need to be recalibrated. Enter the calibration mode and recalibrate the axis zero value to one, then exit the calibrate. Now the circularity input value in all directions is well calibrated. Let's move to the right joystick caliber. Part 1. Calibrate the joystick to return to the center. First hold and press the C3 button until the LED turns on. 
Then refer to the data and push the right joystick downward multiple times until the axis 3 value reaches 0.00392, which is the center. Then hold the button for 3 seconds until the LED turns off to save the left joystick center calibration. Part 2. Calibrate the circular input area of the right joystick. Hold the C4 button for 3 seconds until the LED turns on. Slowly rotate the right joystick counterclockwise multiple times. Then press the C4 button. Next adjust the joystick input. Slowly move the joystick separately in the upward, leftward, downward, and rightward directions. Press the C4 button each time when the axis values falls within the correct range between 0.92 and 0. Then hold and press the C4 button until the LED turns off to save and exit. Test the joystick's circular input area in the gamepad tester to check if the calibration works. Part 3. Calibrate joystick circularity to the correct axis value. Press and hold the C3 and C4 buttons until the LED slowly blinks to enter the calibration. First slowly push the joystick upward to its full and press the C4 button once. Then push the joystick to the rightward multiple times until the axis 3 value reaches minus 1. Then press the C2 button to save the calibration. Next slowly push the joystick leftward to its full, and then press the C4 button once. Then push the joystick to the upward multiple times until the axis 2 value reaches minus 1. Then press the C4 button to save the calibration. Slowly push the joystick downward to its full, and then press the C2 button once. Then push the joystick to the rightward multiple times until the axis 3 value reaches 1. Then press the C4 button to save the calibration. Slowly push the joystick rightward to its full, and then press the C4 button once. Then push the joystick upward multiple times until the axis 2 value reaches 1, and press the C4 button to save the calibration. Hold and press both C3 and C4 buttons until LED turns off to save the circularity axis value calibration. After saving the calibration, we can double check the input data. If the axis value is not correct, re-enter the calibration mode and redo again. Now we are done calibrating both left and right joysticks. Let's test the joysticks in the gamepad tester and see if all the joystick data falls in the correct After confirming the joystick data is perfect, unplug the cable and disconnect the adjustment tool to finish the Hall Effect joystick calibration. The following section is a guide on how to calibrate the circularity if, if the controller's circularity is not fully covered. First, test the circularity of the left joystick. If the test result shows incomplete coverage, it means the joystick is not achieving full range and may require recalibration. This demo is for the lower left circularity calibration. Press both C1 and C2 button to enter the calibration. Push the joystick to the left until the value reaches minus 1 to lock the x-axis, then click C2. Push the joystick upward to increase value, then click C2. Next press both buttons to exit the calibration. Then rotate the joystick and test the circularity to check whether it reaches the boundary. If the boundary isn't fully covered, re-enter calibration mode and repeat the steps until the circularity along the x-axis fully covers the boundary. We just need to keep repeating the calibration and testing until the circularity reaches full coverage. Each sector is controlled by its corresponding X and Y axis inputs. Therefore, adjusting the circularity requires tuning both axes accordingly to achieve coverage.
Once the X or Y axis is locked, moving the joystick upward or rightward will increase the value, while moving it downward or leftward will decrease it. If the circularity in the lower left X axis sector is covered, we can proceed to adjust the circularity along the Y axis sector. Press both C1 and C2 button to enter the calibration mode. Push the joystick fully downward until the value reaches 1 and press the C2. Then push the joystick to the right to increase the value and click C2 as well. Next press both buttons to exit the calibration. Then rotate the joystick and test the circularity to check whether it reaches the boundary. If the boundary isn't fully covered, re-enter calibration mode and repeat the steps until the circularity along the Y-axis sector fully covers the boundary. If the circularity in the lower left region is fully covered, the calibration for this sector is considered complete. After calibration, due to overlap between adjacent corners during adjustment, some interference may occur. Simply continue expanding outward to complete the calibration. The following demo is for the lower right circularity calibration. Press both C1 and C2 button to enter the calibration mode. Push the joystick to the right until the value reaches 1 to lock the x-axis and click C2. Then push the joystick upward to increase the value and press C2 again. Next press both buttons to exit the calibration. Then rotate the joystick and test the circularity to check whether it reaches the boundary. If the boundary isn't fully covered, re-enter calibration mode and repeat the steps until the circularity along the x-axis sector fully covers the boundary. Each sector is controlled by its corresponding X and Y axis inputs. Therefore, adjusting the circularity requires tuning both axes accordingly to achieve coverage. We just need to keep repeating the calibration and testing until the circularity reaches full coverage. If the circularity in the lower left x-axis region is fully covered, we can proceed to adjust the circularity along the y-axis. Press both C1 and C2 button to enter the calibration mode. Push the joystick fully downward until the value reaches 1, then press the C2 button. After that, push the joystick to the right to increase the value and press C2 again and exit the calibration. Then rotate the joystick and test the circularity to check whether it reaches the boundary. If the boundary isn't fully covered, re-enter calibration mode and repeat the steps until the circularity along the y-axis fully covers the boundary. Due to overlap between adjacent corners during adjustment, some interference may occur. Simply continue expanding outward to complete the calibration.
If the circularity in the lower right region is fully covered, the calibration for this section is considered complete. The next demo is for the right joystick, but the steps remain the same. Just identify which sector's circularity needs adjustment. Locate the corresponding X or Y axis and increase the axis value until the circularity is complete. Each sector is controlled by its corresponding X and Y axis inputs. Therefore, adjusting the circularity requires tuning both axes accordingly to achieve coverage. Once the X or Y axis is locked, moving the joystick upward or rightward will increase the value, while moving it downward or leftward will decrease it. Repeat the adjustment until the circular area is fully covered. Due to overlap between adjacent corners during adjustment, some interference may occur. Simply continue expanding outward to complete the calibration. If the joystick data behaves abnormally after calibration, consider resetting to factory defaults and recalibrate. Press and hold the C1, C2, C3, and C4 buttons on the drift fix module for 3 seconds to reset the Hall effect sticks. After reset, the joystick values will return to their original state, but may be slightly off-center. If you don't want to reset and start over, press C2 to enter the circular input area calibration mode and check whether the joystick circular input is normal. If the circular input is normal, the previous calibration was likely off, maybe a step was missed. Just calibrate the joystick's circular input again. Slowly move the joystick separately in the upward, leftward, downward, and rightward directions. Press the C2 button each time when the axis value falls within the correct range between 0.92 and 0.99. After that, press and hold C2 to exit the calibration and test the circular input again. <laughs> 